Season 1 of Virgin River introduces us to Mel Monroe, a nurse practitioner who moves from Los Angeles, California to the remote town of Virgin River. Mel is grieving the loss of her baby, who was stillborn, and her husband Mark, who died in a car crash that Mel blames herself for. Mel is hired by the town's mayor, Hope McRae, to work for her estranged husband, the town doctor Vernon Doc Mullins. Doc is very resistant to the idea of having an assistant, creating a lot of friction in his working relationship with Mel. Doc and Hope are currently separated and heading toward divorce, due to an affair Doc had 20 years prior, but both still harbor unresolved feelings for the other. Mel then meets Jack Sheridan, owner of Jack's Bar, where he works alongside his friend Preacher. Jack and Preacher are former Marines, and when their old Marine pal Brady comes to town, he's hired to work at the bar. Brady proves to be a problematic employee and friend, constantly getting into trouble and questioning Jack's decisions, eventually leading him to quit Jack's Bar to work for Virgin River's drug kingpin and gang leader, Calvin. Jack begins developing romantic feelings for Mel and does everything he can to convince her to stay in Virgin River, despite her frustrations with Doc at work. While still grieving the loss of her husband and child, Mel also begins to develop feelings for Jack, which are complicated when she discovers that Jack was in a years-long relationship with a woman named Charmaine. Jack assures Mel that his relationship with Charmaine was strictly casual and physical, and ends things with Charmaine to be with Mel. As Mel Mel and Jack begin to date, Mel also earns the trust of Doc at work, allowing her to finally feel at home in Virgin River. Unfortunately, Charmaine reveals that despite Jack's lack of feelings for her, she was very much in love with him. And it turns out she was pregnant with his baby. Despite Jack professing his love for her, Mel can't cope with all of the drama and decides to leave Virgin River. If you're looking for a game to help you pass the time in between seasons of your favorite show, then I highly recommend you try out this video's sponsor, Hero Wars. Assemble a team of heroes mixing and matching their various unique skills to create the perfect team to battle the villainous Arch Demon. Along the way, you can level up your hero skills and claim some really awesome rewards to help your team in future battles. You can even challenge other players online to see how your team stacks up against theirs. Obtaining new heroes and figuring out how to best use their skills in battle with my team is a whole lot of fun. And I think playing against other players online is my favorite feature because it really brings out my competitive side. Join the game now and get a super chest with 5 top heroes, one of them is a secret as well as 600 emeralds and 30,000 gold. The game is available on any device. Just scan the QR code or tap the link in the description and start playing now. See you in Hero Wars. In Season 2 of Virgin River, Mel realizes that running away wasn't the solution to her problems. She says goodbye to Mark at his gravestone in LA, then heads back to her life in Virgin River. Back in town, Jack tries to rekindle their relationship, but Mel is hesitant, despite still harboring feelings for him. She ends up helping Charmaine with her pregnancy and eventually discovers that Charmaine was actually pregnant with twins. While Jack makes his best attempts to care for Charmaine and their unborn babies, Charmaine can't get over her love and heartbreak for Jack, and plots to move to Portland to raise their children there. Jack also has to worry about his old marine pal Brady, who is quickly becoming a loyal employee of drug kingpin Calvin. While Calvin's main business is marijuana, Brady soon discovers that the operation was also secretly smuggling fentanyl. A police detective named Mike, who also happened to be an old marine friend of Jack, arrives in Virgin River to take down Calvin and his drug operation. One of Calvin's men, Spencer, offers to testify against his boss in exchange for immunity. When Calvin finds out about this, he orders Brady to kill Spencer. Brady can't go through with the act and instead helps Spencer fake his death and flee to safety. Elsewhere in Virgin River, Preacher befriends a woman named Paige and her young son Christopher. Paige came to Virgin River with a new identity to escape her abusive ex-husband Wes. When Wes arrives in Virgin River to confront his ex-wife, Paige accidentally kills him in self-defense. Preacher urges Paige to run away, as the police and Wes's twin brother Vince were looking for her. In her absence, Preacher promises to dispose of Wes's body and take care of Christopher. Meanwhile, the teenage 
teenage Ricky, a waiter at Jack's bar, begins to fall for the new girl in town, Lizzie. Lizzie was a bit of a troublemaker, encouraging Ricky to steal booze from the bar for them to drink. Despite objections from Lizzie's aunt Connie, she and Ricky enter into a relationship. Also in a relationship, the estranged married couple Doc and Hope. Despite being publicly separated, Doc and Hope have secretly rekindled their relationship. Too anxious to go public with their newfound romance, Hope encourages Doc to go on a date with a woman named Muriel, who has taken a strong liking to him. Eventually, Hope and Doc stop living in secret and make plans to publicly renew their wedding vows. As the season comes to a close, Mel is finally ready to profess her love to Jack. But when arriving at Jack's bar for a date, she finds Jack lying on the floor, bleeding out from a gunshot wound. In Season 3 of Virgin River, we learn that Jack survived his gunshot wound, but he was left with partial memory loss, and his mystery shooter had yet to be caught. He and Mel were now officially dating, and life seemed to finally be at peace. That is, until Jack's house also mysteriously burns down, prompting Mel to invite Jack to move in with her. Complicating things in their relationship was all of the drama Jack and Mel had to deal with outside of it. Charmaine has begun dating a wealthy man named Todd, who wants to move with Charmaine away from Virgin River and take full custody of Jack's unborn twins. When Charmaine and Todd get married, Jack hires a lawyer to fight for custody. Fearing all of his baggage would steal his focus from Mel, and fearing that he wouldn't be able to give her a child like she wanted, Jack breaks up with Mel. Jack's sister Bree comes to town for a visit, hiding the secret that she had quit her job as a lawyer after becoming pregnant from an assault. Despite Jack's warnings, Bree starts dating Brady. Brady had been making a real effort to turn his life around, and now worked a legitimate job at the financially struggling Emerald Lumber. When Jack catches Bree and Brady together, he suddenly remembers pieces from the night of his shooting. Most importantly, that Brady had been there. Things get more complicated for Brady when Calvin returns and offers to save Brady's struggling business in exchange for him to run drugs through it. When Brady turns it down, Calvin turns that offer into a threat. When Bree suffers a miscarriage and tries to leave Virgin River, Brady professes his love to her and tries to convince her to stay. His pleas are interrupted by the police, who show up to arrest him on suspicions for Jack's attempted murder. Meanwhile, Ricky and Lizzie begin to experience some relationship issues of their own. As Lizzie's Aunt Connie continues to object to their relationship, Lizzie is forced to move in with Ricky and his grandmother Liddy. Living together puts a strain on the young couple, made worse by the arrival of Lizzie's ex-boyfriend Parker, who wants to win her back and offers her a job away from Virgin River. Also complicating things is Ricky's desire to join the Marines, just like his idols and bosses Jack and Preacher. Ultimately, Lizzie realizes that despite their love for each other, it would be for the best if they broke up. Preacher is continuing to look after Paige's son Christopher with some help from Connie. When Paige's friend Sally brings word that Paige planned on turning herself into the authorities for killing her abusive husband Wes, Preacher demands to see his friend to convince her otherwise. Ultimately, when Sally takes Preacher to see Paige, it was actually a trap, and Preacher is knocked out. As Hope leaves Virgin River to care for her aunt, Doc holds on to the secret that he would soon lose his vision. This prognosis meant that Doc would have to search for his replacement as the town doctor. Mel, unaware of Doc's vision loss, becomes frustrated when he leaves her out of his hiring process. Eventually, Doc puts his search on hold and and confides in Mel about his prognosis, gaining her support. While Hope is away, Muriel once again tries to ingratiate herself into Doc's life. Meanwhile, Mel, heartbroken over her breakup with Jack, returns to Los Angeles to visit her sister Joey. While there, Mel decides to go through with the IVF treatments she had started with her late husband Mark before his death. When Virgin River resident Lily dies of cancer, the town rallies around her family, ready to support her children and care for her farm. Following Lily's funeral, Doc receives word that Hope had gotten into a car crash on her way back to Virgin River and was currently in critical condition. Meanwhile, an emotional Mel and Jack decide to give their relationship another shot. 
As the season comes to a close, Wes's twin brother Vince is revealed to be watching Connie and Christopher, a mysterious hiker arrives in town looking for his grandfather Doc, and Jack and Mel are finally in a healthy place with their relationship. As Jack goes to propose to Mel, she tells him that she was pregnant. And because of her recent IVF treatment, she wasn't sure if the father was Jack or her late husband Mark. And that's everything you need to know before watching Virgin River Season 4. Let me know some of your favorite moments from the first three seasons of Virgin River and what are you most looking forward to seeing in the new season. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this one, but I'll see you in the next one.